Welcome to Go For The Dough, PMQ's premier dough management series featuring some of the most versatile and high quality pizza flour brands in the world. I'm your host Brian Hernandez, PMQ test chef and former pizzeria operator. And I've literally spent most of my adult life pouring flour, making dough balls, and baking all types of varieties of pizzas and styles of crust. Today I want to introduce you to one of the fastest growing flour products in the exploding Neapolitan pizza market, Upright Flour from our friends at Graincraft. Now this flour is specially formulated for that high heat, light texture that denotes a classic Neapolitan crust. And with Neapolitan and fast casual wood-fired pizzeria operations sweep in the U.S., Graincraft has added Upright to its solid lineup of flours, including their Power and Monaco flour brands. Now we call this show Go For The Dough. So let's go for it. First, add your water to the mixing bowl. Then add your bag of flour, salt, and yeast. Mix on a low speed for about two to four minutes until you have formed a cohesive dough ball. Then add the olive oil, and then mix for an additional eight to 10 minutes. Once finished mixing, let the dough bench rest for 10 minutes. Then proceed to portion your dough balls. Let proof in the fridge for 24 hours. Folks, Graincraft is the largest independent flour miller in the nation with over 100 years of milling experience. The merger of cereal food processors, Milner Milling, and Pendleton Flour Mills creates a coast-to-coast -coast network of 15 milling facilities. These guys specialize in high quality, affordable products, fast distribution, and unmatched service. And at Graincraft, they like to say it's not about just putting more flour at your service, it's about offering up more service with your flour. So having a nationwide reach is a big deal. But the success of this upright flour has its roots in one special place. Check out the dry, elevated, mineral-rich volcanic soil of, of all places, Idaho. Now the wheat that makes the upright flour is grown in the Rocky Mountain foothills. And we all know about the fantastic flour that comes from the Italian wheat fields in the shadows of volcanoes. But who knew that the perfect conditions for growing great, locally sourced, wood-fired pizza was right in our own backyards. The nourishing minerals from those dormant Idaho volcanoes gives a farmer a consistent wheat crop year after year. That's right folks, there are more than potatoes in Idaho. And now they're letting us pizza operators in on the fun. It takes a unique blend of different wheats to make flour sturdy enough to stand up to this kind of heat, pizza fans. And look at that crust. It has the airiness and texture we're looking for in a great Neapolitan pizza. Many pizza operators believe this flour produces results comparable to leading double zero brands, but it's available at half the cost. The cooking and mixing specs are the same, and the absorption levels in this upright flour are beyond compare. All right guys, as always, the best part of this job is getting to taste the pizzas that we have created. So let's dive right in. The flavor of this dough is great. It's not overpowering, it doesn't take over the other ingredients, but it has a strong flavor unto itself. But as always, the true test of a Neapolitan pizza is actually tasting the outer crust, the cornicione. So let's give that a shot. And that is just as good. It's light and airy, it has a perfect crumb structure, warmth and softness that you would expect to find in any true Neapolitan pizza. Well, there you have it, folks. A fantastic looking and tasting Neapolitan pizza made with a 50 pound bag of flour in the 18 to $20 range that can be shipped to you anywhere in the country as fast as you want it. And that sounds like a Neapolitan dream to me, and I hope it does to you. Thanks so much for joining us on Go For The Dough. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. We'll see you guys next time. But until then, you keep those wood ovens a burning.